Hello and welcome to the present. Why? Well, this is a requested video, so it gets the privilege of jumping the queue, but don't worry, because the normal past tense viewing will resume shortly. So this video today is about the tachographs that are available to you on the market and uh, driver regs that you will come across, which are measured against the tachograph activities that you perform to make sure that you're being all legal and compliant and this that and the other and whilst we're at it we may as well throw in the topic of uh, WTD or the working time directive because even though your taco doesn't measure it you are checked against your TACO records to make sure that you are being compliant so we may as well throw that in as well. So just before we begin then we will just say firstly hello to this little guy. This is my new, uh, this is my new mascot and that's what he looks like so he has no name and he doesn't do anything he just sits up the front there and gazes out the window at everyone. Specifically it's a, supposed to be a grey timber wolf I think but it could quite easily pass for a uh, grey German Shepherd. So he just sits up front there like that on the dash looking out the window. So if you're ever on the motorway or a main road anywhere just look out for the wolf dog thing that has no name. And you can be pretty sure it'll probably be me. So that's it now for an introduction. We shall begin with the subject as a whole forthwith. So let's begin, shall we, by moving on to our next section. Okay, so this section is about taco history. But first, I give no guarantees to the accuracy of this information because it's only what I managed to find off the internet and you know how reliable the internet can be sometimes so with that in mind let's begin shall we so back in the good old days way way back uh, you never had anything such as a tachograph nothing like that all you had was a little log book and you were trusted as the driver to honestly and truthfully write all your information in uh, driver hours, how many kilometers, miles you've done, how much drive time, how long your duty was, etc, etc. So it's probably not hard to guess what actually happened. Yes, the drivers regularly drove outside the hours, the laws, the managers regularly pushed their drivers to drive longer and longer until the inevitable happened. When we entered the 1950s, unsurprisingly, HGV accidents went up to quite ridiculously high levels or something like that. Uh, and so people obviously thought that we need to do something about this and so they invented the tachograph however they weren't compulsory uh, and weren't widely used to begin with for obvious reasons so eventually in 1985 the EU passed a law requiring all vehicles over three and a half tons so basically anything that's a very heavy van or above is required to have a tachograph in it however there are some sources that say sometime in the 1970s 72 possibly they were introduced but that could be a misquote from somewhere or that could be just specifically the UK rather than Europe as a whole which definitely was 1985. So these first tachographs that were introduced were called analog tachographs and they used these little things called discs, taco discs. 
which are basically wax coated on one side and paper on the other to do manual entries where and as needed and these usually lived face down behind the speedo there's a little tray that you'd open up put the disc in close the tray and then it would record all your data on the disc like so so how these worked generally was you'd fill in this middle portion with your name where you started when you finished your start and end date just in case you finished after midnight you'd finish on a different day obviously vehicle reg start finish and the total number of kilometers that you've done so you'd fill in the middle bit there on your first truck and if you used a second truck on the other side you've got a second one there that you can fill in like I've said you've got manual entries there just in case you need to alter anything that you've done and then around the outside here is where all the data would be physically scratched into it by mechanical styluses so on the outside here you've got the speed of the vehicle in kilometers an hour and you'd usually get a generally a zigzag line then there's midnight and it'd count round one two three four five six seven eight until midnight there on the other side this blank bit here in the middle is where a zigzag line would be scratched for how many kilometers you've driven so every time it reached one end to the other that would represent about five kilometers i think and then lastly on the inner field your activity that you were doing so if you weren't driving it would be showing either break other work or a period of availability depending on how you had your uh, taco set on which mode and as you can see that's basically how it went forever and a day now as a means of recording data this is fine it works except that it's in a tray behind the speedo so you can't actually see how much of anything that you've done so you have to keep a very careful eye on your driving quite a lot of people generally they'd have a stopwatch sort of stuck on the side here or whatever and just time their time that way um, it's very difficult otherwise to know what you're doing but it was good but it had its problems we went on this way with paper wax coated discs all the way up until about April or May 2006 when eventually the digital tachograph finally made an appearance which let's be honest for digital technology that is quite a late comer to the party especially a brand new piece of equipment as well not just a reworking of something old it's so just before digital tachographs came along uh, the old analog ones they went from behind the speedo and they migrated up into a very similar looking unit where the digital ones currently reside now and that's quite a small batch it's mostly the 55 plate trucks that you'll find have tackers like that but really old ones they still remain behind the speedo and all the other ones now have digis it's 2006 now we've been using uh, digital tachographs and even these themselves have evolved and changed over the years uh, it's usually minor updates here and there but there has been one big one recently which has put the tacos into two main groups as we will describe later but that's now uh, brought you in a roundabout way up to speed with what tacos have been doing after the past 20 30 odd years now so let's move on to our next section <laughs>